You can slip. You can roll. You can bob and weave. But now I'm going to show you a way in which you can get better at those head movement techniques when you're sparring and when you fight. And that's by developing a rhythm. So when you're in a bob and weave like Joe Frazier, he's got a rhythm. He's, dip, he's bobbing and he's weaving in the rhythm. And you can do the same thing when you're training. You can imagine your opponent's going to throw a jab, cross, hook, hook. And you could just be like, slip, slip, roll, roll. That could be your rhythm. Slip, slip, roll, roll. Slip, slip, roll, roll. So I'm just in there, popping my jabs. And I'm very subtle. I'm very, and I'm very subtle with it. I'm not, whoo, 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 whoo. I'm just subtly dipping and moving. Developing the rhythm. Slip, slip, roll, roll. My head is coming on and off the line. On and off the line. Under, under. Just developing that rhythm is going to make it easier for you to actually follow through with it. Now, let's just say I'm doing this. Slip, slip, roll, roll. My opponent does for a shot. It's going to be very easy for me to just follow through and entirely move out of the way. And that's a way in which you can get better at using your head movement when you're fighting and sparring. Develop a rhythm. Slip, slip, roll. Slip, slip, roll, roll. Just like that. Part of the reason why Joe was so good with his head movement was because he boxes with rhythm even when shots were not thrown. He still bobs and weaves. 